Hey everyone, and welcome back to Drill Dozer, where previously we completed the first act of the second level, Art Museum. And yes, uh, today we will be heading to Museum Vault. So let's proceed here, let's see, is the red diamond actually in this giant safe that we found in the Art Museum there? So let's see. Although, you know, uh, this area will be long. No, screw it, I'm getting out of here. But yeah, here, you can kinda go back and visit this little room, although there's nothing in it, like, at all, but it's just the previous room that we have been here, like, in the previous time, in the previous level. But uh, yeah, take a look at this room, uh, it's called Theater Trap, so we were kinda, we were, we were kinda in the gallery, in the previous level, then we went to the theater, and then theater itself had this trap, which leads to some underground, sort of like a secret passage, which eventually leads to this uh, big vault room, safe room. And yeah, as you can see, this safe is really, really big, and it has three locks on it, so... Uh, we will be unlocking this big safe, and it will take time, because yeah, we have three locks, and this level is really, really long, so I think maybe it will take me... Maybe three episodes to go for this whole level. So yeah, guys, uh, we are getting to the point where... Um, well, levels are getting more lengthy, levels uh, are getting more challenging, and stuff like that. To be honest, uh, in total, I think in the game there are six levels in total. We are, like, already in the second one. And yeah, each level is um, divided... Uh, well, almost each level is divided into two acts. Uh, so yeah, this game is actually not that long. Uh, what makes it long is uh, actually the length of the levels themselves. So yeah, starting from this level onwards, uh, things will get a little tricky. So yeah. Okay, so we were in the gallery, we were in the theater, we visited the safe room, what's next? Okay, sewers, that's ridiculous. Quite a trip, you know? I thought we would just go visit art gallery and that's it. Oh my god! Yeah, with this dude, this little Pac-Man thing, uh, well, just run away from him because, uh, yeah, you have to be fast, you, you can't defeat that guy, so just go through that tube and that's it, as fast as possible. But yes, uh, here in Museum Vault, in this level, um, metal blocks, can go through there. In this level there will be a lot of uh, sewer tubes and stuff like that, so maybe that's why this level is so long, because it will... Why do these sewers in these video games are long, like, anyway? Like, usually they always are, I don't know why. Maybe you know, you, you know why, viewers. Because me, I have no idea. It's sort of like a trend or something. Alright, grab some chips here, and second gear. Nice. So yeah, today uh, we will be the masters of unlocking, uh, because, well, we will be unlocking the safe room. <laughs> it's kinda pretty ironic as well, because, uh, well, we're playing as Jill, right? And, you know, we're, uh, this master of unlocking thing is coming from, right? Well, here we are in sort of like a different game. Oh my god, Pac-Man! fast. Here we have to... Well, yeah, here we are sort of in the different game, but... Uh, <clears throat> the thing still remains, you know. We are the masters of unlocking. Not currently. Currently we are masters of the sewers, as you can see. Masters of drilling as well. So yeah, a lot of, lot of tubes here in this uh, level. Here we have these uh, steam pipes. You should be careful with these things because, well, if you touch the steam, it will hurt you. Because apparently the steam is, well, obviously the steam is hot. 
And yeah, speaking of this room, it's called Boiler Room. So, yeah. And yes, in this level we also have my favorite music from the game again, so... Uh, so yeah. Oh no, 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 I, I need to grab that chip. Here we go. So yeah, enjoy it while it lasts, viewers, because... Uh, well, when we'll get the third gear, it'll be gone. Careful, here we go. So yeah, in this episode I think I'll unlock only one lock. I think that'll be it for today. Maybe... I think, yes, uh, today we will go through the mini-boss of this level as well. Pretty gimmicky uh, boss battle. Okay, blue block. Okay, this is a kind of fun area. So yeah, don't go normally here or it will be damaged, so just use your Metal Gear Dozer to go through that one. All right, here we go. What are we doing, like, in the sewers, anyway? Image Mutant Ninja Turtles somewhere? No? Ah. Okay, these police dudes with their, uh... With their dozers in making... They sort of have these uh, little blue dozers which they are in, but they are not exactly dozers because, because they don't have drills. Okay, what do we have here? A rubbish! Damn kids! Alright. Ooh, some lockers here. Let's see, the room that you just sneaked into must be a guard station. Oh really? In the sewers? Is the control room for opening the giant wall. If you turn the wheel, you can turn the dials on the wall. But you must turn each of the three dials from different rooms. This is the art gallery. Really, Grudge? This is... <laughs> These are the sewers. What the hell, man? Talk about heavy-duty security. But the device itself is rather simple. The problem here is figuring out which way or how many times Turn the dial to unlock it. Unless we know that info, what's the point in being here? Boss! Do you see anything in that room that might be a clue? Well, uh, well, there is something on the wall there. Maybe uh, I'll check the table as well. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Something on the table here. There's something written here on the table. If you see a thief, Assume there are 100 more you can see. Really? Well, well, we have these skulkers. Well, they're not skulkers. They're kind of just police dudes and stuff. But the only thief that I see here is me! Because, well, we are thieves. What's here? Attention, newly hired security guards. To open the wall, turn the red dial two times to the right and four times to the left. So you guys, remember these two numbers uh, and the directions where you need to uh, turn them as well, because this will be uh, needed just for that red thingy there, when you see there. So uh, yeah, remember this one two times to the right and four times to the left. I actually have to remember this one for myself as well. <laughs> this is top secret info, so don't go blab blabbing about it to your buddies. All right, all right. Although, right now I just told it... told that info to everyone around the world. You know, I'm sick of these sewers. It's smelly and stuff. I'll just go out of here. No? Boss! Yes? The lock on the red dial hasn't been released yet. Look for a clue in that room that will help you unlock it. Eh. Ah. Yeah, can't... can't just leave this place, I guess. Okay, so here we have this dial, so just let's lock onto it. And yeah, as you can see, here we have sort of like a mini game. so... Now we'll be unlocking the first dial of this giant vault. So, yeah, let, let's just do what that note told, told us. Uh, so let's just uh, use the drill clockwise first to turn it to the right. 
two times. That's one. That's two. And yeah, as you can see on the dial there, well, the lamp kind of is lit right now. So you kind of know that you are on the right track. Otherwise, you'll, you'll, you'll hear this didn't, the sound, and then you'll have to retry uh, again to enter the whole combination. Okay, and now let's turn the dial uh, counterclockwise to the left four times. Don't go mad with your drill here, by the way, uh, because if you turn it more than it's needed, you'll have to start all over. <laughs> so yeah, what I like to do, I just like to hold down the drill button until it reaches this whole bar, which you see on the over overlay, and then just stop, you know, to not overdo it. Okay, that's free. Here we go. All right. So yeah, first lock is uh, released. Perfect. Excellent, the first lock has been released. Oh, I already said that, Grudge. Go check the next control room. Alright, and that's it for this first lock. So now we are... The Masters of Unlocking. Okay, here we have... I think I missed the chip there. Yeah. Come on, go away. Here we go. Let's deal with this little uh, blue Scooby-Doo thingy. If we can. Come on. Here we go. And now the robotic form. Drill up your ass. Why not? Okay, so we are back at the gallery, as, as we can see here. Okay, this place here will be a wave of enemies once again. So we'll have to be careful with these uh, dudes. As you can see, it makes... Uh, what, what, this place is kind of harder now, because... Uh, it's kind of V-shaped. Like a V-letter here, and uh, it's hard to navigate like that. But still, the mechanic kind of stays the same, it's just that the floor itself is kind of awkward. So, yeah. Great. You know guys, uh, I was thinking maybe we should uh, proceed to the mini-boss today, but I changed my mind, really. Let's leave it for the start of the next episode, because I think this episode is long enough already, so I want to divide this whole, uh, whole level into three parts. So I want to make these episodes relatively short, so not to overdo it, sort of, for the one episode. So yeah, that will be it for uh, this episode, and uh, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next part, where we will continue be the masters of unlocking in this museum vault. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Cheers!